Thanks for checking in to find out what you should check out this month on Shorties. Shorties. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we can yeah. never consistently remember how they start. It's just like <laughs> we got shorties. <laughs> What's funny is um, the one thing I I asked a a friend over Thanksgiving break. I go, so uh, I just I just want your feedback as somebody who like listens all the time. I'm like, you know, what do what do you think we're doing well? What do you think needs improvement? And she goes, actually, I've just seen a steady improvement. She goes, there used to be a time when you guys would just end each episode with like all right bombs away <laughs> now we actually like what's from the movie yeah <laughs> and so we that figured it out <laughs> yeah because she even did it she was like you know you used to be like bombs away way way i don't know bye <laughs> <laughs> whatever it gets the job done right but yet consistently this still has no yeah. true <laughs> opening <laughs> We um, gotta show failure somehow, but outside of the normal episodes, that is <laughs> right. Uh, we gotta consistently fail. Sorry, You're consistently keeping me yeah. from <laughs> doing the intro. Uh, we well, gotta make sure. <laughs> Welcome to Bonds Away presents Shorties. This is our monthly trailer type episode in which we tell you what to watch so you can be in on all the jokes for next month's movies. We got four movies coming up. This month for the month of December 2018. So first, before we get into that, I always like to ask you, what you watching right now? Um, I just finished the the IFC the first season of the IFC show. I'm sorry, it's actually really funny. Yeah. Uh, apparently, like the so the main lady in it, she's I guess the vice president from uh, Veep. At some point, or the president, the female president from Veep. So, uh, Elaine? No. <laughs> from Seinfeld? Well, Elaine's the Veep. Oh, I'm, she's I corrected the myself Veep. Oh, okay. President. Okay. Well, Elaine was the Veep, the president for a while. But, like, she's the female president or something. She was in Veep. Sure. She's really funny. It was actually but not really Julia Louise Dreyfus. No, yeah, not. Okay. Her. Yeah. Okay. Good job. All right. Anything um, else? Movies? Or, or is it just straight up TV shows for you right now? Yeah, I've just been watching and catching up on TV. Mm -hmm. Good place. I okay. Love that show. It's All good right. Show. All right. Um, me personally, uh, I dove into Mystery Science Theater's The Gauntlet. I've seen the first episode. Okay. But I'm yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have not for the um, second episode. Right. Second episode. You you did not watch the Mac and Me one because I don't want to steal jokes. You know, there, there's nothing to steal really. They like a lot of it was like just point on point dialogue. Okay. Where they'd like, oh, yeah, they'd say whatever the dialogue. That was a horrible yeah. impression of what they do. But, uh, yeah, no, it, it, it didn't. I got maybe one thing that they pointed out, but they, they just pointed it out and didn't go on like we would yeah. on it. So I was like, I'll remember that. Right. <laughs> um, so yeah, that, that, that's what I've been watching that and, uh, the movies of recently, Bohemian Rhapsody, I totally recommend it. Uh, I, I, I just thought that it did a really well done job of, of just being like, here's a love letter to Freddie Mercury and Queen as a whole. And you kind of don't know where it's going the whole movie until like the final 20 just really wrap it up and you're like, that's what I sat for. Okay. This all makes sense. Um, Something else I watch, Overlord, the zombie, like, kind of World War II movie. Uh, totally recommend that. The sound design is amazing in it. I uh, haven't really watched any bad current theatrical stuff lately, honestly. Mm. Uh, so it's been a good month so far. Probably going to watch Wreck-It Ralph this weekend. Same. All right. Got to get to it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I skipped Nutcracker. That wasn't going to happen. <laughs> yeah, there's no way. Right. I'm but not paying. But uh, something searching. <laughs> something that we're going to be at the theater for and something that everybody listening, if you're in the Southern California area, should come to the theater and join us is our next live show, which, as we just mentioned, is Mac and Me. We announced it on last month's shorties, uh, but 
it's still going to be on the horizon as this episode comes out. So we wanted to make sure that everybody's aware. It's November 30th at the Frida Cinema in Santa Ana, California. Uh, tickets are still on sale. If you do the pre-sale ticket, which that cutoff will be 5 o'clock on Friday, November 30th. If you get a, uh, a ticket before that cutoff, you will get our entire pre-sale Happy Meal package, which is uh, a fully designed Mac and Me Happy Meal box that we have designed here on the show, as well as uh, a special Happy Meal treat, burgers and fries. Sorry, you got to buy the Coke from concessions. <laughs> but everything else on the uh, that you would normally get in a Happy Meal is in that Happy Meal, not to mention a special appearance from an actual costume performer, from an actual Mac Tonight uh, photo opportunity. And some other things that I can't quite mention on air, but they will be a full surprise during the movie. Oh. So, I know, right? Uh, I'm excited. I hope everybody out there is excited. I can't wait to show you this ridiculously shitty movie. It's probably, yeah, like, I, it's one of those things where I'm like, I can't believe you guys sat through it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's so much fun. It's an E.T. ripoff. Please come. Uh, that is November 30th. Uh, tickets are 15, a presale right now. www.thefreedacinema.org slash events slash bombs away live. Okay? Okay. I don't think I need to play the trailer again. Yeah, nah. <laughs> nah. I was going to, and <laughs> they nah. heard it enough. Yeah, they heard it. They've heard us talk about it so much. If you want to uh, see the trailer, uh, or at least the trailer that we made for it, you can actually go to our page facebook.com slash bombs away show and look at our events page and that's where you'll see the trailer that we created for mac and me or just search mac and me uh and you can look at the trailer that's normally on there and that episode will be coming out on tuesday december 4th don't say that i'm kidding <laughs> why not <laughs> well because people were like well i guess i don't have to come <laughs> I mean, eventually, they know how as we, live shows work. Yeah, I mean, eventually, as we keep doing these, they'll be like, "Yeah, I get it." Like the next week, they come out. Fine. But eventually, maybe we'll get to the point where you don't know when that's coming out. I, I don't know. We're getting some new Fine. things. Fine, it in won't the can. come out Tuesday, December fourth, because that's will. my birthday, and I'm going to cancel the recording date. <laughs> yeah, it so will. we won't actually do a live show. <laughs> right. God, I won't bring up my birthday anyway. The uh, only reason I did that. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about me. It is. Um, moving on, Tuesday, December 11th. Uh, this is the uh, year of sequels, so we had to do it again. We've done uh, parts one and two as a double feature, plus a drinking game for part two last year. And what better way than to just keep it going, because there's actually five of them. Huh. Uh, but we will be joined uh, by our guest from uh, the previous episodes, uh, Mr. Andrew Roberts. will be joining us in the studio to tackle Silent Night, Deadly Night 3, Better Watch Out, from 1989. Roll trailer. So you'll skip and you'll just start talking about December 11th. All right. Tell me what you saw in your dream. I told you, Dr. Newberry. I'm blind. Santa Claus. A world of silence. The subject may be making contact. I don't want to see the future. Oh, cool. We get to see the other movies I again. I just want to be normal. For a third time. Yeah. Madness. No one is normal. <laughs> a world that can't be ignored. She likes it. Loves it. She can't resist it. All right. We're still seeing the first movie. My see what he sees. He was a little Frankenstein's boy. in this one. And then something happened. Something terrible. Still the first movie. Because when the dream is over. I don't know what's going on here. But whatever it is. The nightmare begins. <laughs> the Yule oh, those are ugly shoes. His brain was surgically reconstructed. Not what possible. What am I saying? I'd have pulled his plug. Then his life was a value. With the saga that shocked a nation. <laughs> We Robert Culp, Silent Night, Deadly Night, Part Three. Better watch out. For what? For that movie? Yeah. <laughs> Don't watch it. That Silent Night, Deadly Night, Part Three. Uh, that comes out on December 11th. Uh, I've seen this before. 
it's insane. Uh, I think I might like it better than part two. Mm. I don't know. I can't tell. I mean, it's it, it was it, it, I was laughing the whole time. But either way, that's coming out on December 11th. Moving on to the next week. Uh, this is all Christmas themed, by the way. Like everything is Christmas themed. Oh, obviously. Ho, ho. oh uh, my god! We do not have since New Year's falls on the next month. We don't have a New Year's th- this year like we did last year, for, like New Year's Evil. Good, uh, <laughs> good. I want to see it again. <laughs> uh, we but just watch the same movie again. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Uh, Terror Train is another one for New Year's. Uh, uh, yeah, that one's like it's choo choo. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's just on a train on New Year's Eve, which, as you do, mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> I always party on a train on New Year's. You cross Eve. state lines, so you actually miss the countdown. They, you know what? They party. <laughs> yeah, just like, every oh, time. we went to Central Mountain. <laughs> every time. That's not the only movie that um was it coming to America. They have the whole end is like on a train on New Year's Eve. Yeah, people love. To party, sure on trains. <laughs> uh, uh, Orient Express, you know, midnight on the Orient Express. Right, that was a party. So a murder due to sequels coming up and the live show, and also basically having special guests that are picking the movies this this month. We are very horror heavy. Okay, so I wanted to make sure that we did something that wasn't. Horror. Is it going to be Black Christmas? No, that is horror. Oh, <laughs> I thought you meant like we're doing a full month of horror. That's no, like the way no. you just set it up. No, ba- with all ba- the guests and the holidays, there's a lot of horror. There's a lot of horror. So I wanted to do <laughs> one that wasn't oh, okay. right, but it's also a sequel to something we've done, kind of. Like um, it's in the same universe. I know. Yeah. I mean, we've done two of them so far. It's Ernest Saves Christmas. It is Ernest Saves Christmas. <laughs> it's like, uh, and I think this is the one that I've actually seen a bunch as a child. I did too. This uh, this one and Scared Stupid, I've seen, but yeah. none of the others, honestly. I Maybe think they Ghost were just to jail. You've seen Goes to Jail? Yeah. Nah, I don't think I would ever. Like, I just wasn't interested in it otherwise. But these two were like holiday themes, so they were on, and yeah. I was like, oh, great. Uh, Grandparents had them. I know it's better than Ghost to Camp. Okay, good. Because I didn't like Ghost to Camp really yeah. at all. Um, so this is December 18th. It's Ernest Saves Christmas. Roll trailer. Ailer, Ailer. Oh, it's Touchstone. In the past, there have been many traditional Whoa. ways to celebrate Christmas. With songs, with gifts, with family and friends. There's a new way. Ho, 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 Bert. Where's Ernest? Ernest P. Worrell. He's back. Know what I mean? Back to save Santa. Santa's in the slammer. Look at those beady, twinkling eyes. Back to save Christmas. <laughs> back to save face. Your dead meat. That's life for you. Isn't she a doll? Ernest P. Worrell. Mr. Funtime. Oh, good. We're back to character. They said yeah. couldn't be done. On Comet. Because I miss on those Cupid, characters. On Donder. In the movie, they I said did. shouldn't be done. Don't be grumpy. They were right. You guys say you have a problem with reindeer? <laughs> Trim the tree. Oh. Light the candle. Deck the hall. And <laughs> hit the deck. Because <laughs> Ernest P. Oral's coming to town. And he's coming with colorful cards and festively wrapped packages. <laughs> Air brakes. <laughs> 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 Ernest saves Christmas. I don't know why we're doing it. It's a perfectly funny film. <laughs> <laughs> it is probably the best <laughs> Ernest film. Uh, <laughs> uh yeah. <laughs> I remember I I remember things about it like I remember that the Santa Claus was a great Santa Claus. Like I just yeah. remember being like adorable old man, like very charming. I think I remember all the characters from this movie. Yeah. I oh you mean the the like that's things most, he plays yeah. oh yeah yeah uh, he still pra- plays like neck brace ant <laughs> she's my favorite <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that will be on December eighteenth now the next the next week after that will be 
falling directly on Christmas Day. Hmm. Yes. And we will still be putting out an episode. Oh. So... <laughs> Fine. Oh. <laughs> uh, but this one will be a collaboration between another podcast and uh, and ours. Uh, a very similar podcast in ways of uh, ripping on movies that didn't quite make it. Uh, but they, they go straight for more Grindhouse, more 70s, uh, things like that. So we very hardly ever cross over. Uh, they are local, just like us, and I definitely recommend if you're already a movie geek and you love what you're hearing here, go check them out. They're the Grind Bin Podcast. Uh, you can find them on, um, I think, I think I looked them up on at least five different apps. So, like, I guarantee they're probably on every app, uh, just like us. I mean, That's, if you're not at this point, I know, right? Get it Why together. Why be selective? <laughs> I just don't want Android users to hear me. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> I just mm, – Google, <laughs> you've got your hands in too much. <laughs> no, uh, uh, Grind Bin uh, is Grind and then B-I-N uh, podcast, and we will be, col- be collaborating with them on two different movies, one on our show, one on their show. So first I'm going to play what we're going to be doing on theirs to get you guys excited. This movie looks crazy, and the date doesn't add up with what you're going to see. <laughs> I'll tell you this. Okay. So let's just roll it, okay? This will be December 25th on the Grind Bin podcast where we will have 1984's Don't Open – until Christmas. Oh. A homicidal maniac is loose at Christmas. His target is Santa Claus. His motives baffle Scotland Yard. Oh Without my God! A for murder, no is a knife going to come out of his shoe? <laughs> his death toys are a spear, a gun, an open razor. No, I think that's Christmas evil. Oh wait, never mind. I might have seen Christmas by Eve. any means. <laughs> Don't open till Christmas. Some Santa Clauses ignore the warnings. He surely wouldn't attack a woman. This is the razor blade. I know. It's like run. Jerry Sunquist as Cliff. Is that the same girl? One suspect. Right. What possible reason could I have for going around killing Santas? Oh, none. You're British. No. We just don't like you. Terror drives one Santa Claus into a house of wax, a pit of horror, where murder, mayhem, and sudden death are celebrated. What, they're just going scene Blood, by scene? Gore, what are they, torture, our podcast? The destruction that, of this trailer? <laughs> well, that's most Grindhouse trailers. Uh-huh. They oversell it. Amidst the wax and plaster, a real body, warm flesh, wet blood. Oh, she's got boots. Oh, he cut off her nipples. Oh, oh. <laughs> Third time's a charm on this one. <laughs> Alan Lake as Giles, a newspaper man with inside information. For the you murder. mentioned on the phone that you had some information that might lead me to the murder. Now, I said, would it help your promotion prospects if you were to solve the murder personally? Are you suggesting that Inspector Harris... No, I'm not suggesting anything. Is that Gene Simmons? <laughs> What is she in jail? I'm not the real one. Oh! <laughs> but then you die. I don't know. Oh! Are they like in a naughty booth? I think it was. Don't open till Christmas with special guest star Carolyn Monroe. Covered in blood. Never mind, it's bad glitter. <laughs> it's just pink saran wrap. I know, it really is. See what I mean about this doesn't look like 1984 to me. Alright, well, I guess we're just going to switch class. Belinda Main seeking revenge. Starring Edmund Purdom, who knows there are only three more killing days till Christmas. <laughs> so does everyone. <laughs> if you do, you may not see in the new year. Uh, oh, right. they mentioned new year. <laughs> <laughs> How nice of them. Right? So, oh, oh, no, not yet. <laughs> so that's what oh, the title that uh, will be on the Grind Bin podcast for. Is don't open till Christmas from 1984. Check out that trailer. That is insane. Uh, 
definitely looks like something more from like 1970. And you won't be able seven. to open it till Christmas because it won't release till Christmas. That's right. Ooh, that's that was clever of them. I mean, I was talking about our episode of the podcast. Well, theirs too. Yeah, because they're they're going to release on the same day. Yeah, as the that's as the, was... that will be their Christmas special. All right, so beating that one to death. Yeah. <laughs> Um, uh. <laughs> so then they're going to come on our show same day, right? So you get two things to listen to on your brand new iPhone or brand new Google device that you just got from under the tree. That you can't listen to our episodes on. <laughs> no, you can because you just got it and you oh, signed right. up. Yeah, we're, so by we're the end, on Google. Right. By the end of the night, you'll be able to, after it winds up downloading everything that it needs to, you know, mm-hmm. and maybe you remember, oh, yeah, podcast. Maybe it'll be a couple days down the line. But hopefully, maybe you got that special device and you just can't wait to listen to us. It's never <laughs> going to be the case, but... Like, my new phone, I gotta listen to Bombs Away. <laughs> Please, how quick! What do you mean the the, the data plan's not working? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> SIM card. <laughs> Mom, what's the Wi-Fi? <laughs> That, but yeah, everyone ask what? your parents now for their Wi-Fi. Yeah, yeah. When you come home for yeah. Christmas, just ask now. So, because it's gonna take Give a while for them to, to find yeah. the paper. It's a, I got the paper here somewhere. <laughs> the post-it's on the fridge. There's no paper on the fridge. It's not <laughs> magnetic. <laughs> well, I don't know. Look under the fridge. I, I I think you're gonna have to call the cable company. Ask your dad. Dad's asleep. We'll wake him up. Have you woken him up before? <laughs> You're right. I don't know. Look on the computer. Don't you have Wi-Fi? Well, what's the password to the computer? I don't know. Your dad's the only one that uses it. <laughs> Wake him up. <laughs> yeah. It just goes in circles like that. It's so be sure to that. ask them now, guys. Uh, so we're going to have Grindbin on of our on our show. Mm. And I said, pick whatever you want from this list of Christmas movies. And this is what they picked. So, coming to our show on December 25th, it's 2008's Santa's Sleigh. Ooh, modern. Nash-ish. Grandpa, I want the truth about Christmas. If it's the truth you want, then it's the scary truth you're gonna have. According to the Book of Claus, Santa, Satan's only son, lost a bet (laughs) and was forced to spread Christmas cheer. But now, all bets are off. Santa? Santa? Yeah. <laughs> this is Santa Claus. <laughs> ho, ho, hoes. Santa Claus is not a myth or a legend. He's real. <laughs> Only he's not bearing gifts and presents anymore. Christmas can sure scare the dickens out of people. He's scary. You're a Hulk Hogan? <laughs> I'm just trying to spread a little yuletide fear. Are you saying Santa is offing everyone who's naughty and nice? Oh my God! Nicholas shot him! You shot Santa? <laughs> Turn away! Santa's on the loose! Oh, she's Australian. She was in Lost. This season. Lock your doors. Bolt the windows. Oh, Grandpa got run over by a reindeer. Everyone stand back. Things are about to get a little messy. And block the He's chimney. He's gonna die right after that. Cause naughty or nice, Santa Claus ah. is coming to town. Santa's sleigh. Go ahead, kid. Let's see what Santa got you. I hate children. Well, gee golly. I feel December like there's the a... Month that keeps on giving. I feel like there's a uh, very forced crossed word play there of Satan and Santa. <laughs> there's going to there's gonna be some good jokes. Yeah. No, that's going to be a lot of fun, I think. How have I never heard of that? I, I feel like I've heard of it, but it was one of those things where I was like, yeah, we don't need to spend time watching that. When I was a, a 17 year old sure. at the time. I know, right? Oh, 18. Now, now you can't you can't escape 
like one sitting in front of the TV without seeing the uh, Christmas Chronicles with Kurt Russell yeah. commercial. Uh, like they are pushing give that it up. <laughs> Actually, I think it, I it looks fun. The only thing I'm like, no, is when they show the CGI elves. Gosh, that I'm like, no. <laughs> Everything else about it seemed like it was a grumpy old Santa Claus yeah. that doesn't like that doesn't like how he's portrayed in the media. <laughs> you know, like it looks fun, and then I was like, not the. Oh, I've the just elves. seen like little things on Netflix where I'm yeah. like, oh no. I, I think it, I think it's gonna be fun. I, I'll I'll try that this this season. So that that's it. Uh, we uh, also be t- uh, blah, 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 blah. We're trying. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> line. Can I get can, can I get my line? Uh. No, December twenty eighth. Uh, we can't announce what our next live show is because it's it, we exclusively like to announce it to our live audience. Uh, so it's another incentive if you're in this uh, California area that we happen to live in. Oh, you mean the movie? Uh, no, yeah, I just say yeah. it. <laughs> you don't even know what it is. I you're forgot. like, I don't know. Uh, yeah, we can't announce what it is, uh, but December twenty eighth. Mark your calendars. It's a Friday. We're always going to be. Fridays now. We're going to be the third Friday of the month going forward in January. So uh, mark your calendars. Be like, that's bad movie night. That's bombs away night because that's what's going to happen. And uh, once again, if you want to see us come to your town and uh, rip on a bad movie, if uh, if you're like, I-, I would love for you guys to do that, you can write to us, contact at bombsawayshow.com or on any of our social network, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. That's at bombsawayshow. And we will reach back out to you and see what we can do. You know, if if nothing more, maybe we'll dedicate an episode to you, or we can have you on Skype. Who knows? Uh, but or we'll just completely ignore you. Yes, so. or we'll just totally pretend like we didn't talk about the fact that we were going to do a Home Alone themed episode. Yeah, because I get don't remember. <laughs> I know, and I don't remember it. And I was going to, I was going to suggest that we do it. But I can't find the episode in which we actually pitched whatever that was. Apparently, it was maybe Cop and a Half. I think it but, might have been Shorties. Yeah? I don't know. But but that's another thing, guys, is if you really want something like that, reach out to us ahead of time. Be like, I heard the last episode. I love that idea. Please do that. Because if not, we're, we forget about it. Yeah. I'm going to be dead honest when I admit to you. And people are like, yeah, we know. But – I'm going to be honest when I say, hey, I don't listen past, like, after the theme song because that's all I have to really edit. And then I skip to the end and insert the end theme and the commercials. And that's it, guys. Unless there's, like, an audio bite or something that I know, like, I don't anymore. Like, that's way too much time. I'm working on the live show. I'm working on Instagram for you guys. Catching up on stories. other podcasts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I just started listening to the dollop again, actually. Yeah. Uh, I just go got ways. to episode 100. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Um, so with all that being said, I don't really – sometimes I, I forget what we say, and mm-hmm. I, you can attest to this too. So if there's something where you're like, that was an amazing idea or that was a good – or you messed up this – we're going to not remember that probably because sometimes also uh, behind the scenes, we do two, three episodes a day, you know, just so that we can take a little vacation, you know, or like that's what we're going to do for Christmas. So if there's something that you hear in these Christmas episodes and you want us to do it, let us know ahead of time or it might not happen. So sorry, Walter. Home Alone's not happening because I don't remember what the concept was. I think it had something to do with like, like a great movie that has bad parts or something like that, I or don't like remember. something about his shitty parents. Was it Page Master? Was it? Ooh, well, it's got, it might have been. Yeah, yeah, might have been Macaulay Culkin. It's too late now. Yeah, yeah. Too We've bad. already announced everything we're doing for. Uh, and I'm not adding more to our plate. <laughs> It'll be our Patreon. Mm, yeah. yeah. Okay. Sure. <laughs> uh, that just about does it for me. Uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for being a fan. Please rate, review, and subscribe. Share this episode. Share your favorite episodes. And share the holiday spirit. No, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> But thank you, thank you so much for being a listener. Uh, I'm Jonathan. I'm Jarrett. And ho ho ho! Dang, that was not. No.
No. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, deck the halls. Uh, <laughs> Bows of Holly. <laughs> This has been a production of Big Bulb Entertainment, executive produced by Jonathan Young. For more media and information, visit us at www.bigbulbentertainment.com. Big Bulb, what's your bright idea? <laughs> <laughs>